Hi everyone, Kuzmal Designs here, and I got a bit of a different video here today. I'm answering a question from a member on the channel, and he was asking about the HK Models 132nd scale B17 turrets, and in this case, the top turret. Now, we are familiar with these models here. It's been a while since uh, I've showed these on the channel, and that's because I'm doing a special uh, book on how to build these models, and it has slowed up the work, and I do apologize. I know a lot of you out there have been waiting for the next video on the build series, and it has slowed up the work, and I do apologize, but that's just the way it is. And um, for this video, however, we are answering a question about the top turrets between the G and the E and F variants of the models. Now, answering this question, um, now I've got both instruction booklets. Uh, this one here is the F and this one here is the G. Now, I do have the original G model, not the new one they released. So I don't know if they changed anything on the re-release of the G. So I'm going off of the old model kit. Now, the question I do believe, if I understand it correctly, was do they build differently between the G and the E and F, or like are the parts different, if I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, and the answer is yes, the parts are differently as far as uh, the top and lowers. So this is the one we've completed, we've all seen this before from you know the past series, this is from the F kit, this one right here, right here, this is the one I built, it has the gun bags like for the spent casings and such, it's all built up um, in the F uh, model kit. You do have uh, the choices of the, the different tops, as we've seen, like you get this one or the one that I chose. You know, there you go, and there's this is the F uh, from the F kit, like the sprue. There's the gun bags. Obviously, I have a couple of these kits, right? Otherwise, uh, you know, why is that there? So this is like uh, the sprue with the gun bags and everything still attached and such. So that's your options right there. And there's the instructions on how to build it and your obviously your options right you got to pay attention but it builds pretty much the same and then you plug it in now for the G kit the G instructions right it is a lot different right now I do have the sprues here that's your piece right there that you're looking at there's no gun bags or anything like that. Now, I have been in a B-17G, and if memory serves, it does look like that. A lot like that. Let's see here. Like, there's your completed piece without the guns. Like the barrels, you put them in later. Now, I do believe it looked a lot like that, if memory serves. I do have video and pictures. Now, I haven't been in a B-17F. Obviously, that's combat ready, right? Like, that's pretty much how it looked like in combat. Now, I did add my own things in there, like my wires and such. Um, that doesn't come with the, the, you know, the kit, obviously. I added my own touches. But I do believe the question was, for the most part, are the lowers different between the F or E and F and the G kits? And the answer is yes. They are much different given the tops, right? You get different tops. So that's this is the G sprue from the G kit. Right? Looks a lot like that one. But this one obviously is flat. Right? That's just the one I chose. The only option you get with the G kit is this one. I believe that was the only option anyway. But I suppose if you wanted to, you can take this one and if you have the G kit, you could throw it onto this model here if you want. I don't know how accurate that would be. But there's your sprues anyway. Just going back to the E and F instructions. I hope this answers your question. Um, if I understood it correctly. And then your B17G instructions, original release. Hopefully soon I can get back um, to this build. Obviously it's winter. You know, we're in the deep, deep winter here and this is a huge model to be painting in uh, my paint booth. So I gotta wait obviously until it warms up so I can you know paint the bigger pieces outside and such. So I gotta stick to um, 
you know what works for me um with my painting booth and such and obviously i got to work around other projects and orders and things like that so you know i do uh, apologize for you know the long hiatus with models and such and obviously um with orders and other things it's just the way it is so um you know i'll build it when when time allows and when the you know the book allows and such like that so we'll get to it guys you know it's a lot of money has obviously been spent into the model um and i i can't rush this project as i'm sure um you guys understand um i i don't want to just you know rush the build you know, a lot, you know as you can tell look at the detail put into this in time you know i don't want to just ruin it because it you know, to put a video out. That's not why I'm doing this. But there we go. I hope this answers your question. Um, if it doesn't, I'll make another video for you if need be. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe as always. And uh, yeah, if you have a question out there and want me to do a video on it, hey, that's what I'm here for. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.